tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Hello, good evening. Tonight will be a very interesting night in that we discuss uh, ang lucky designs, shapes and design. So, when we talk of a uh, shape, Tagalog, hugis, uh, or form, it can take the shape of a room, or a house, or a lot, or property, that can affect your uh, feng shui. Well, of course, if it affects your feng shui, especially on the negative side, it can hinder your progress and prosperity. So, it's best that you be made aware of uh, the negative or the unlucky shapes and designs uh, in your surroundings. And as much as uh, you want to uh, progress with effortless ease. Okay? The so with unnoticed designs, especially in the Philippines, that we take for granted. Uh, it's a shape, it's a design we take for granted because of its uh, popularity. Uh, it's just a, a very uncommon symbol and some even mistake it for luck. No? And I'm talking here of the what we call in Kung Sui Bagua or Pakwa design. In layman's terms, is actually the octagon design. When I say octagon, it is uh, like a polygon with eight equal sides. No? Uh, it's not considered octagon if one of the sides, four sides are smaller and not equal to the four bigger sides. No? Okay, so octagon is simply eight equal sides. Ocho cantos. Okay, now uh, why is it popular in the Philippines? First of all, uh, it is actually a feng shui uh, emblem, no? uh, commonly mistaken for protection, but it's not. No? In fact, uh, there was a movie produced, titled Feng Shui, using the Bagua as its storyline, if only to drive home the point that actually the Bagua or the Pakwa is ma malas or unlucky. No? Not everyone just simply uses this. In uh, real uh, full Feng Shui tradition, if you're scholarly enough to learn about Feng Shui, uh, the Bagua or octagon design is used mainly for the dead, the house of the dead, which is to call in Feng Shui, Yin Feng Shui. Okay? Uh, what are the negative traits of the Bagua? Why is it bad? Well, in military science, of which Feng uh, Shui also influences in ancient China, the usual formation of the great armies against uh, conquerors or used also by invaders like Genghis Khan and the Mongols is to surround the cities from the countryside. Okay. And they surround it from all eight compass directions, which is the Bagua. Yeah. You notice eight equal sides is like the compass directions. You have the cardinal directions of north, uh, south, east, west, and the in-between directions of northeast, southwest, and northwest, as well as southeast. In Feng Shui, there is an additional direction. The mirror in the Bagua, uh, the center, 
is equal to another direction. There is a center direction. As happened in other ships uh, and other reefs before, they started building islands no? and structures in the question, the uh, territorial things. No? And uh, they locked it out, actually. So, a bagua formation uh, signifies you're locked out. So whatever your status in life remains the same, okay? And that's what they do when they invade countries or colonize countries. The invader, let's say Genghis Khan group or Kublai Khan, will surround a particular city in all eight directions, uh, camp all around it, and observe sending spies, and uh, do social investigation as to how uh, the city operates, no? how it produces its wealth, its economy, everything. Then after around two years of watching and observing and uh, taking data or profiling of the key players in that particular place, from the mayor down to whoever the uh, government is in that place, they start to invade. And you know, when you're invaded, there are only two words that you will learn from the invader, is to pay tribute to their king and pay taxes. So the other word is, if you don't pay taxes, you have to face death. So money or life situation, death or taxes, okay? So that's how bad actually uh, uh, the Bagua uh, or eight May stop strategy is. Well, perhaps in the old the days in the Vatican and churches, they wanted to keep the flock within their fold, locked in, okay? The followers of the church. So they introduced these symbols, be it at the floor of the altar, be it like a window behind the altar, or a window on top of a, a just like in Binondo Church, or UST, on top of the main door of the church, there's a big uh, uh, stained glass or uh, uh, glass uh, window that's shaped like an octagon. You can see this all around, okay? And of course, in the Philippines, the more it got popularized by temples who use this, uh, but there's a catch. Just like the motive of the early church, uh, temple purveyors of the Bagua, they circulate these tampitas or medals with bagua or uh, orations with uh, rubber stamp baguas to keep you within their fold. Okay? So, no matter what you do, it's hard for you if you're a temple adherent, it's hard for you to really break out and be yourself and achieve self fulfillment. Okay, you will be always within the ambit of the temple because that's one culture propagated by Chinese temples. You always bend with your God. No? Santo Nino, pasok mo ito aking smuggled goods, limang container. Pag ito nakapasok, donate ako sa iyo one container worth pang develop ng temple mo. Ganyan ang uh, kamaterial ang temple deals, no? Of course, it's not spiritually. Okay? From products, X deal, mga mantika, uh, to butter or whatever, they donate to the temple uh, after a rewarding uh, uh, spiritual miracle or experience in a business Popular deal. Popular hotel in Manila that gives away to VIPs 
or their clients for Christmas promotion year in and year out an octagon designed wall clock. This is one of the worst uh, symbols to have in your house. If you have an octagon wall clock with uh, uh, a cuckoo clock from ancient times or even a colonial design as long as it's octagon, even wrist watches, no matter even if it's a Rolex or a Voluva or whatever, uh, as long as it is octagon in your jewelry, you know, uh, shape, uh, it can generate negativity in your life. Okay, so check your jewelry, especially certain cuts of diamonds, you know, just like I forgot, it's not princess cut, but uh, if you look at on top, the shape of the top view portion of a diamond, even though how small or how big is octagon, okay? So you have to be very careful. And even in terms of uh, uh, lucky charms, people nowadays buy from Chinatown all these multicolored fake diamond uh, glass. No? Use it as paperweight, it looks like a pyramid when turned upside down. Be it ruby, green, whatever color or clear. When you put it right side up, the top is also octagon. You have to be aware of this. And the most popular, of course, is the bagma itself, the Chinese mirror. Okay? Fake feng shui always provides you with Chinese mirror. They want you to get stuck. Okay? Uh, uh, especially if they put it inside the house. Okay? It's safe enough if it's just outside no but uh, uh never inside the house because you're converting your house uh into a yin or feng shui for the dead house okay like a mausoleo because these are actually meant for mausoleo ever since that was built it's spawned what we call the secessionist movement no especially from Muslim brothers in Mindanao. During the time of FBR, uh, this has been brought to his attention and his uh, uh, friends who were Masons uh, tried to resolve it their way. How they did, how they did address it was uh, instead of what was recommended in Feng Shui, to put a strong image of, let's say, let's say, Adatu, Lapu-Lapu, or Raha Sulaiman, or a big farmer who can control the bulls from fighting each other, north and south. Uh, instead, they substituted their fraternity symbolism of putting uh, an obelisk with a time piece. Uh, it worked for a while. Well, the battery of the wall clock embedded worked. But once time stopped also, because uh, of depreciation, or wala ng battery yung uh, relo, <laughs> tumigil na rin yung peace and order between the North and South, Luzon and Mindanao. And it continues incessantly. That's how uh, bad symbols can also affect a nation. Now, another one, uh, we are proud of MOA. As we go down EDSA, reaching MOA, we'll encounter that uh, electronic globe with the map of the world. But what's sad is, right at the center of the map of the world facing EDSA, Tumbo, you know, is the map of the Philippines. So, ignorantly, or innocently, whoever designed that committed a grave error. It placed the Philippines at the center of the Tumbok of Esa, and you know what Tumbok means. 
any plans and programs to make the country progress or even modernize will always be thwarted or mothballed or deferred or hindi natutuloy na? because it's tumbok. Okay? That's how bad uh, things can get. Okay? Politicians yeah. in the boondocks uh, you can see the frustration of uh, brothers, sisters, political families when one brother was always running for mayor and always losing. Okay, so a final check up. One election prior to election date. Uh, our surprise, the sala of that particular candidate had an octagon design. You see, it was it became a trend also in local architecture to have octagon designs, uh, especially in the provinces. That means he got stuck. So as long as he had that octagon design on his ceiling, in his sala, no way will he win. So right there and then, when he learned about it, since it was just a molding, he instructed his people to remove it and repaint it right away and retouch it as if nothing happened. And to the form, he won the election for mayor for the first time. Okay. So that's how you can up your careers by taking away any bad feng shui symbols or hindrances, especially uh, octagons. Okay, now the worst, like not, I don't consider it worse, but uh, uh, nothing could have been happier for the ex wife and family of this particular Chinese man who uh, got into a comatose already for beyond three years such that it affected the lifestyle of his ex-wife who just volunteered to help him going back to the Philippines as caregiver upon the request of their priest's son in the States because he was attending to his congregation. And poor wife who was already married abroad had to stick with ex-husband as caregiver for over three years until he found out about Feng Shui and tried it and uh, this time we applied natural Feng Shui euthanasia okay uh, and the husband simply died in his sleep peacefully to the jubilation of all family members because finally, all their woes and struggles, day in, day out, were uh, relieved. Okay? And the wife uh, happily lived ever after going back to her second family in the States, uh, fulfilling her uh, duties as requested by the their eldest son priest okay so that's the span of how you can uh, cure a career your personal ambitions uh if you want to progress uh with effortless ease remove the number one potential obstacle in your house which is Octagon. Our next shape that you have to be uh, uh, careful of will be excess uh, letter X. And this one is very prevalent, especially when it comes to clocks and watches. If the uh, nomenclature of the clocks and watches are in uh, 
uh, Roman. You know, uh, 10 o'clock is an X. 9 is an, you know, 1 and X. Uh, X is the Chinese character for Chong or Malas. So you attract uh, bad luck. Okay. So very bad effect. Uh, uh, how to avoid it? Avoid it from bad prints with X, especially sofa weaves. Uh, even though they're leather, their joints are sometimes in an X formation. Be it tiles also, when you're constructing a house, uh, there are certain designs that are X. Okay. The most prevalent in architecture would be Italian designs, Muebles Italianos type. No? Uh, maraming X yan. Yung mga grill grill type. Uh, yung uh, balusters ng stairs grilled with excess. Window grills with excess. Uh, I had a bad experience. Uh, famous radio announcer. Um, with uh, her husband, uh, she didn't know her husband was gifting her with a house. Uh, also known Italian Mediterranean. My husband doesn't know also Feng Shui. Did not consult Feng Shui. Uh, proceeded with what the architect and designer did. Uh, just before the house was finished. They divorced, they separated. Sad, no? And later on, the husband, just for curiosity, uh, sought my feng shui advice in his new house, the leftover house. And that's where we discovered excess all over. So if you have excess all over, you can become also, in times of love relationships, excess. Okay, so you have to be careful with X design. Okay, uh, that's one, no? Uh, X. The other designs that are very uh, uh, inimical or bad are uh, uh, triangles. Okay, now triangles are very abrasive. They can cut, no? So they can cut feelings. Uh, uh, people you relate to, you tend to quarrel with. Kung hindi ikaw nang aaway, so ang aawayan nila. Okay? So, do away with triangles. And also the flip side of triangles, when you combine two triangles together, diamond. No? In diamond shape. Matulis din yan. No? That's why Chinese, they don't like maraming kanto. Okay? Even the shape of a room, kung maraming tulis tulis or a lot, they don't like that. It attacks quarrel. No? It becomes a quarrel someplace. Okay. In the meantime, uh, uh, let's have already our open forum. I'm sure you have a lot of questions when it comes to shapes and symbols. No? Feel free as long as stick within our topic for tonight. Uh, Teen Sultan, uh, how about? Octagon, what's that? Uh, diamonds, and gems. Oh yes, yes. Never have octagon, diamonds, and gems. No, very bad. Also, uh, Tinsel building her house. Asked me earlier about uh, layered designs of table. You know, like these woodcuts, patong patong. Uh, we call that in Feng Shui crazy cut, no? I never have crazy cut designs. Magulo ang isip, okay? So, same with jewelry, you have to be very careful, okay? So, any other questions? Uh, IP Joseph, uh, anong gagawin master pag my octagon shape sa bahay. Ah, okay. Nabanggit ko na yun. The most is you donate it to church. No? 
Pwede mo namang bigay sa uh, parish priest nyo or ano. They can use it. Or an orphanage. Because they, these people have to be stuck in the orphanage. No? Yung mga street children, hindi naman sila pwedeng palaboy-laboy. Yung mga pare, madre, stick with the congregation. Okay? Pati yung mga payong nyo na Uh, yung iba pa nga, yung payong na pang swimming pool, eh, parang sa Starbucks, no? na eight-sided for golf umbrella. Okay? I hope that answers your question. Uh, who's this? Uh, Gigi. Oh, Gigi. Uh, Master, uh, my window grills are diamond-shaped designs. Uh, Replacing them would be expensive. Uh, well, we cannot do anything about that. That is the law of supply and demand which we cannot repeal, Gigi. Okay? As they say, an apple a day, while it keeps the doctor away, is expensive too. Okay? So you have to uh, contend with that. Okay? Uh, reality. Okay. Uh, X shape ang paa ng table marker. Uh, madali lang i-cure yung X ng paa ng table. Parang yung sa kabayo ng planchahan nyo, like the ironing board. No? Pag X shape, talian nyo lang yung intersection ng X ng uh, white ribbon. Okay? to dispel the uh, negativity. Okay? Birds Medina Master is the 888 design lucky? Oh yes, of course, it's lucky. Uh, huwag mo naman lagay sa baboy. No? Iba, baka gamitin mo pang numero sa baboy. Okay? So, uh, baka akala tuloy ng tao, 888 per kilo yung baboy mo. Malas yun. Okay? Ano yan? Imported. <laughs> okay? So, next. Uh, any other questions? Okay. So, design ng numbers, uh, it's best if you can use uh, Chinese calligraphy design. No? Like the Chinese numerology for 168, it means you look at or it attracts prosperity all the way. Okay. You can put it outside your gate, it can be in a sticker or uh, a concrete uh, design. others have done. No? You mean Saigon? Most of their headquarters are spiral staircases. No? So, if, if you notice also the foreign policy of uh, Vietnam is uh, bobbing up and down one time, big time. One. So, that's caused by uh, structures like this on a national level okay so be careful with a uh, spiral staircase okay? and uh, the way to uh, design stairwells is if you want to use the classic oro plata mata you add one more step nada Pilosopo lang kasi mga yung Pilipino, tinanggal nila yung nada. Kaya nasira-sira na lahat. Okay? But you can correct that when building your house. And the rule is, for every regular flight, may landing, you recount. Okay? You only count continuously if there's no landing, meaning the landing is triangular, continuous. Uh, ang steps going up. Okay? 
And pinaka simple translation of oro, plata, mata, nada is good, good, bad, bad. Just end in any good step. Okay, for every flight. Okay. Of course, when it's spiral, it's qualified na yun. Nakaya mo bilang. Okay, bawal yung spiral eh. Using, uh, okay. you know, 1950s, 60s, on hollow blocks on top, the broken bottles, uh, broken bottles of soft drinks or beer uh, as uh, preventive as spikes because uh, the spikes might point to your property and it affects the feng shui negatively. Okay? It leads to a lot of envy and intrigue. Okay? And most likely, uh, labor problems. Okay? So that's a, just a simple spatial designs that you have to be uh, very careful of. Water, of course, is a very good design if you have water features in your uh, home or office premises. But uh, make sure you are feng shui guided accordingly because wrong placement of water well, water symbolizes cash flow. Uh, wrong placement can mean cash flow outwards, no? not for surplus or profits, but deficit spending. Okay? So you have to be careful in positioning water elements in your, uh, first of all, house, then office premises. Okay? Uh, for tiles, uh, no matter how aesthetic they look, for as long as they contain negative designs, as mentioned, uh, let's say triangles, diamonds, uh, very bad. No? First of all, marami nagtatanong, masama po ba? Or is it bad to have your master bedroom? above the garage okay the question there is uh, answered by letting technology work for you okay using your common sense and updating old feng shui literature in the context of contemporary feng shui no before feng shui literature was based on old analects or Feng Shui books na yung panahon na yon, yung mga bahay yung flooring kawayan kahoy 1950s, 60s such that pag underneath yung master bedroom e garahe pwede kang malason ng carbon monoxide pollution uh, each morning when I warm up yung kotse umaakyat yung pollution seeps through the floors and pollutes the environment especially if you have aircon no? uh, it will stick to the filters and circulate in the aircon without you knowing the toxic gas of carbon monoxide is accumulating okay kaya marami pong namamatay nung 60s to 70s uh, even up to early 80s sa mga motel Kasi the old Manila motels, uh, if you notice the ones surrounding Manila Zoo area, Ermita, uh, Pasay, they were all wooden floorings with the garage underneath. Okay, so sometimes couples just check in and uh, uh, even forget to turn off their cars. Uh, it accumulates carbon monoxide and poisons them and even kills them eventually okay stay tuned for the next episode only here on big media